All right, so tonight is a pretty big night because we're going to Cabernet Sauvignon, Cab Sauv. This is, how do I even describe Cab Sauv? Like, it's it's the number one grape in the world, right? This is a grape that grows in everywhere. Uh, it's, it's one of the most boldest wines. It's certainly one of the most famous, uh, certainly coming out of France, the Bordeaux region, and then making its way again into so many countries and their winemaking practices. Tonight we're drinking a Nap- Napa Valley. Nap- oh man, English is hard. Napa, Val- especially when you've already had some <laughs> wine. Napa Valley, Napa Valley Cab Sauv. There we go. And this is also, I think so far on the channel, the most expensive wine I've drank so far. So like we're upping our game a little bit. Uh, I, th- I think my Patreon account is just going to go directly to the wine store because, you know, that's uh, that's how this works now. So you guys are all my wine supporters. I should rename everything, and so I can drink fancier and fancier wines. So, oh yes, see, I've already I've already had a bunch of this, and uh, again, this is nice. This is super smooth. Very, uh, it is subtle. Like this is subtle. And there's a lot of things I really like about it. I don't usually drink a lot of caps off, and I'll talk about why. But oh, just let me give it. Let me give that nose. Hmm. All right, we gotta play go. All right, but caps off. I will here. I will throw up a little graphic on the screen. Just give you a general idea of what we're talking about. It's a. Oh man, we already have a, why does the game matching go so fast? Oh gosh. I have to play a move. Uh, it's a super bold wine. Um, this particular wine, I get a lot of flavors of chocolate, um, which is very nice, and it kind of comes and goes. That's that's one of the things about a lot of these subtle flavors is that. You get a whiff of them, or you get them on your palate, and then they disappear for a while, and they come back, and that's, I guess, part of the fun. Um, this is definitely not the most acidic wine. Again, I usually like much more acidic, bright um, wines on your palate. This is not that. So this is this is perhaps the biggest reason why I don't drink a lot more of Cab Sauv. But yet the flavor is still really bold, and so it will it will you know <laughs> flesh out your mouth. It's also fairly tannic, and this particular wine is actually this particular cab I should say isn't the most tannic cab. I've had much more tannic cabs, um, but again, tannin is referring to that dryness that gets left in your mouth when you drink wine or suck on a black tea bag, which you shouldn't do that, kids. Don't do that. Um, but you know that dryness kind of feeling, even though there's something very wet uh, on your palate. Um, so this, yeah, this, this Cab Sauv is not, certainly not the most acidic, it's not the most tannic, um, but it's fairly nice. It is, is, and I don't know where I got this bottle from is the funny thing. Like I've been had this, I've had this on my wine rack for like a year and I have no idea where I got it from. And I just looked up the price and I was like, oh, holy shit, this is, this is a little more expensive than what I'm used to drinking in my budget conscious, you know, $15 or less bottles of wine. Uh, so anyway, we're enjoying it. We are enjoying this one. Um, again, not my usual style, but I've had plenty of cab at this point. If you go to like any, any local winery on the West coast, that winery is going to have a cab or at least a cab blend of something, um, in, you know, from their, from their winemaking. What should I do here? All right. We should talk about go. I got a little excited about wine as I normally do. Um, I've got a little wall here, got a little wall here. These both need sort of balancing stones. Uh, I think I should approach here first and ask some questions before I decide how to balance this. I might want to make this exchange first. This is also a good, you know, move to basically just ask a question like, how how, how should I space this over here? What kind of Aji am I going to leave? Um, I'll make I'll make this ask first because I'm doing a lot of tanukiing here. I I do. Ooh, what? That can't be right. so it's fine. We're drinking wine, so it's fine. Okay, let's play there. <laughs> oh, crap! The whole board is terrible! I wasn't even looking at this! Oh my gosh. Am I even recording? <laughs> How do I fix this, guys? Oh my gosh. I'm on display capture, not window, window capture. All right. All right. All right. I've, uh, I feel bad now. <laughs> oh man, I should have looked at that so much sooner. What is, oh, is Hane there? What? All right. Oh, we also need coordinates. There we go. 
Okay. All right. We're looking good. I can now continue to talk about wine to my heart's content. Do I go here? No, I don't go there. That's terrible. I have to connect here or here? Or here? No, not there. Uh, actually, this mess might be okay. Because if I play here and he doesn't connect this way... I, I could, I, I'm, I'm, I'm offering to take his corner to allow him to connect. This is not allowing to connect, but he's then going to kill my two stones over here. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think let's, let's play there. I, we'll see what the robot thinks, which one I should play. I, the robot will probably want me to play there and offer the exchange, because the robot always wants me to offer the exchange. Oh, that's an interesting timing. This is Sente. So let's just take it. I think it's Sente. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Should be Sente. Not that I did any reading for that whatsoever. Uh, this feels like I should... Let's just play there. Uh, this feels like a good game for me already. Like, I'm already, I'm already feeling very happy on this board, which is good because I totally screwed up the beginning of this recording. Hmm. Mm. We're definitely not drinking enough wine here. Uh, I think we can just play there. See if he attaches. Oh, he's going to extend. Oh, that far. That far. That does feel far. All right. I want to play here, but I also want to come play down here. Both of these seem very plausible. Maybe kick and then pincer? I like that idea. Let's do that. And let's play that one. All right. So in terms of territory, ooh, that's very brave little stone. You just play a move like this. This seems reasonable. It's, for, it's kind of kind of very strong, steady, um, keeping shape. He's playing. Why is he playing so fast? Look, he has all this time on the clock, and I have forty seconds. Not not fair. Uh, let's just kick this again. We probably have to jump out on this side. Um, how many points is this corner? One, two, three, four, five, ten points. Okay, plus another twelve points. So here, let's say eleven times two. So he's he's playing for a real low score right now. <laughs> like this is a very this is this is not a lot of points. White is asking for. White is going to be fighting uh, in order to make anything here. This move is threatens to make two eyes directly. But it's a little passive. Um, but I think it's the right shape. Because again, a move here makes the two eyes. Good move. Alright, he's finding shape too. This is all like like little like slap fights. These are all little like... Not even slap fights. They're like little like... Oh, pure yummy. Like imagine two kids in the back of a car just like poking each other. That's the kind of fights we're having down here. Like this, is, these are all little small annoying hits. Types of moves. Let's play there. See what he does. He sh will probably jump out some somehow over here. Not entirely sure yet. Not sure what the shape is. Um, and is this? Oh, he's going to block any connection here. Interesting. Which also actually um, doesn't let me get the two eyes easily here. Uh, so good on him. Good on him. Do do this really slow jump? Oh god, that feels so slow. But, you know, it's at a good place. It's at a good place. This is this is just a running fight to the center. Now, he does have the stone that's closest to the center. However, it's not really anchored to anything. It's next to a wall. So, it might as well not be there. <laughs> it does negate the influence from the wall. But it's this is like almost like a wash. It's kind of funny. Hmm... Do I play here? Mm. This feels bad because I still have the opening. Um. Nine, oh, eight, damn you, clock. Seven, damn you. Six, five, four. Let's play this. This is going to come under attack pretty, pretty directly here in a second. Because we're going to be greedy about these points on the right. We're just going to say mine. There it is. Just keep running. Just keep running. 
Okay. Uh, I did want to get this move earlier. Now it's kind of too late. Mm, this is good. I'll shoulder hit here. He's just going to be kind of lame. Okay. He's allowed to be lame. I'm okay with this. I really want to play here. Does this work? Make like a co shape? I'll just extend. Um, oof, oof, look at, look at this, he's leading me all around. And again, if everybody lives, I'm super happy. Right, because this right hand side is already bigger than all of the white territories. So, we should definitely jump out. There's a hole here that I should ask a question about, but I think it's better just to take this jump right now while I got it. Keep this running fight. I do have a nice peep here that I'm aiming at. Once this group is safe, I'm not drinking enough wine. This is a problem. He can't really cut here, right? He can annoy it, though. He can annoy it like nobody's business. So let's turn. I'll see if he wants to cut. He does want to cut. Okay, all right, here we go, people. Strap in. This is only going to get worse before it gets better. All right, now he's got a huge play for the left. Huge play. This is this is this is so gambly. If he responds on this side, we can play this attachment and be quite excited about our prospects for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Defending is good. Is it good enough? Can't honey there. Game on. Like this is still just oh, this stone. Do you see this stone? Like I know when I was talking about this stone before, you guys were looking at me like I'm crazy. What are you talking about? That stone is so far away from this running fight. But when you have four groups that are running, the stone matters. <clears throat> it's a little dangerous. I should think more about this connection after he makes this uh, safe like that. Hmm. I still don't think it's a problem because I can sort of push cut here, but it's real tenuous. I can I can I can get some more forcing moves here, right? Does this work? Nine. I think it works. Let's ask him right now if he wants to try cutting this. If he doesn't, good for us. Good for us. Uh, I really should just play another move over here, right? Because that kind of makes his life miserable. This is such a, such a miserable move for white. I gave up a lot. Like, I did... Yeah, okay. I did give up a lot to get access to this move, though. But this feels like the most important area. This this fight. Uh, but, you know, after this move, I think we're fine. Oh, okay. Sure. All right, right side's looking real nice. He's going to squirm here to make two eyes, which is fine. And then, oh, that move, eh. I guess it's fine. Okay, we need to continue. This, this, the group that was in between the two weak groups is safe, as is his group over here. It's really just about my weak group over here. Now I did give up. This is a lot, that's a lot to give up. I'm feeling still kind of bad about that. <laughs> uh, I don't want to... Do this right now. Let's jump again. I'd have to be very... This wedge looks very... Eh. <laughs> Although I, ha I actually have plenty of things to get out of it. Oh, wow, he's going to leave this alone. Um, cap? I think cap. Yeah. 
He's threatening to kill this whole thing. I've got some strength over here now. This is your classic running, attacking shape. Play the knight's move, yep. And I think we can even play here now. Oh boy, oh boy. This is exciting. At some point I need to read all these little connections. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. Uh, I totally should be. Okay, that takes one of my little worries off the table. Oh, he's just going to make eyes like this. What? What? That's not fun. Why would you do that? Well, we'll take that peep. This doesn't actually kill the eye there, though. I guess it does. Kind of does. Oh, he's going to play that way. Okay, yeah, it does. Right? Because this... He has to connect there. We can pop out the eye. Uh, this is just the very safe move. I could play here now and just ask again, what do you want to do with this top group? Let's just respond here once. I, I, I think he'll respond. Why does he play so fast? He has all this time. I just want him to stop playing fast. I, I, well, granted, I'm not even using my 30 seconds, but I just don't like hearing the lady count. That's my problem. I just like the lady's voice. This would be such a happier experience for me. Um, do I dare play this and leave the peep? I really don't think I should. That seems like a bad idea. Also, I could play this way. Which is kind of interesting. Let's not play that way. <laughs> seems like a bad idea. But we will play this invasion. Just ask. Just asking little things, little questions of our opponent. Oh, all right, unexpected. Very unexpected. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's just crawl. And crawl. Yeah, this, the problem with this is this does set up him the ability to break out. But it still seems really hard for that to do. Oh, but he gets to play that in Sente. I see. Mm. Mm -hmm. So do I have a way around this? Do I just play this right now? And he takes and cuts through? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just follow through, through his natural conclusion. Now he'll connect. Connecting a sente, you should just connect. It's like double sente. Oh. Push there first. So I can play this now. I guess all these free moves. But this might this might just be worth it. Because now all this turns into territory, and that's not small. Dun, 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 dun. I really can't save these two stones. So this this may be giving this was probably a mistake. I'm I'm sure that was a mistake at this point. Um connecting here is pretty big. Playing here is pretty big. Dun. Nine, eight, seven, oh, we can't actually connect. Six, five, dun, dun. Four. I, I, I'm, 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 I've had a little bit too much wine to really read this accurately, like, at all. Um, like, all this seems really, like, bad ideas. <laughs> okay. Okay. We play here, he pushes through, cuts, and then we have to cut, and then deal with the consequences. Yeah, we can deal with the consequences. Love me some consequences. Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh dear. <laughs> this is just all out now. This is just all out go. Like I've taken the entire right, a pretty big chunk here, the the top ish center. Um, ten points. This is this is hold on, this is like twenty two, twenty-eight. This is close to almost thirty. Let's round up to thirty. It's gonna benefit out forty. 
40, let's round up another 10 between these two, so 50. That's an interesting move. Do I want to play here? I think I just play here. Or maybe here's better, but no, let's play. Let's just connect first. Okay, okay. We got this. We can do this. This is scary, though, having this big stick sort of dividing this weak group over here. I wouldn't be lying if I said I was nervous. Of course, the wine kind of makes you a lot less nervous. Yeah, Kabsov. What else should we say about Kabsov? This is... If you don't know what to order, you go to a restaurant. They're going to have Kabsov. Like, they're going to have Kab. You can just call it Kab. Just give me the Kab. Like, you don't have to look at the menu. Just, like, give me the Kab. It's great. <laughs> you got to love wines like that, right? That just everybody has. <laughs> Uh, do I really? I don't. Yeah, all right. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not reading at all. I feel really bad, like playing a go game where I'm not reading at all. Oh, that's that's a ugly move. I don't think it works, but oh my gosh. Oh, does it work if he plays here now? Because of this cut. Will this push and then this cut? I don't think so. Um. Uh. Do 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 do. Um, Eight. he's trying it. Oh gosh! So does this work? <laughs> I have three WCS two. This still works. This still works, right? This still works. Still works. Anyone? Bueller? We're still fine. He can't cut because it makes an empty triangle and he shorts himself a liberty. It's three to three. But then I have the first move. Seven. I think so. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. But then he has a throw-in. Ah, oh, wait, I have more Biomis than one. He has this throw-in here. Is that my death? Might be my death. Huh? I died, right? <laughs> I just died. Nine, eight, seven. Totally just died. He didn't figure it out! That's amazing. I'm pretty sure I just died, right? There, I connect, he plays there. If I have to take away the liberty, he throws in, I take, and Atari's there. That is Atari, right? <laughs> like, it's hard to tell. Atari, I have to connect, and he just wins. Three to three, you still win this, okay. Yes? Okay, still win. Three to three. Three to three. I think he had the game. I think he had this. Whew. Playing Go is hard. Did that do anything? No, it's still three to three. I can Tanuki that, right? Oh, this is to keep his, his whatever this is alive, this corner. Um, okay. Sounds good. So we'll just take some end game there because we can. He has to play. Asante. Uh, this is also disconnected now. Okay, that's a interest. Why wouldn't you play there? Like, why would you? Why would you even do that? Um, whatever. All right, we have some interesting things going on here. This is the move to pop out the eye. This is the move. Doo -doo. I don't think that's Sente. I think that was a terrible move. I was under duress. I need to remember I have three Bioyomis. Bio uh. hmm. He responded. Oh man, this really, this really is very tasty, and it's so smooth. Like I could, I could really drink the whole bottle of this. This could be. This game could go downhill real fast. Um. Nine. Yeah. Um, this feels kind of fine. I don't know if it's right. I don't know. I don't think it's Sente, but it's, it's real close. Oh, did he find something? Is it possible? It's definitely possible. I mean, who are we kidding? This, this exchange right here, I might, I might just make this, even though this is the one that kills the whole thing. 
This feels like such a bad move. But it makes everything safe. I need to make everything safe. I don't really need to make everything safe. I can just play here. All right. I can just play there. All right. Uh, head screwed on straight. Let's let's get this head. Oh, he found he playing this peep now. That's really annoying. Um, is this really a worry? Mm -hmm. Boom boom boom. Bim, bim. Not a real worry. Okay. Not worried. Okay, he's gonna make, oh, it maybe, well, no, it's not a real worry. Granted, my reading is a real suspect. What a fun game. What a fun game. Oh, uh, yeah, I really want to get a hit at that chocolate again. It's kind of turned more into like an oaky caramel something. <laughs> If I just connect here, that actually that actually prevents him from dying, I think. Um, so I can play there. Just stay safe. Like, I have enough points. Like, there's no way he has enough points here. Also, he didn't respond to this. Oh, is this a thing? Oh, gosh. I should have totally done more reading homework. We need to actually think about this one. Oh gosh, this is bad. What a terrible, Nine, terrible eight, move. Seven, six, hmm? Five, hmm? Four, three, two, or taking a beat on me, for sure. I have three, right? Okay. Two, All right, two left. Um, hmm? 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 This is very scary. Super scary. Has to play there, yep. Oh, this isn't really a co. Right. Yeah, cause this is uh, this connects, and that gives him an eye. Oh man. Hmm. All right, how do we get out of this gang? Someone, let me know. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's take that move. You should take away liberty. Yep. All right, I might have died there. <laughs> and by might, I mean probably, almost definitely. <laughs> but here's the thing, I might still win. <laughs> like even after losing that whole huge group. Like, it looks like it's close, if, it, if that's the case. Uh, maybe, I, I, I don't know, I'm making it up. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually close or not, but it looks like it. Looks like it's not not close. Hmm. There's nothing down here. All right, let's just give this. Oh, I should play up here for sure. Okay, he's not taking any chances. Uh, this one I think is best. All right, can I lose this group and still win? I mean, it seems pretty plausible. <laughs> Oh, that's ugly. Is that really his best response? I guess so. Okay. Uh, all right, that's sad. I died. I totally died. The one where I died. This is the one where I die. Let's take this, right? Oh, this is also kind of big. Let's do that. Although, oh, does that change this group? Not really, because I can make two eyes this way. All right, if he cuts here, I can live. So I got this move and this move. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> I think playing this is worth is like one of those cases that I should just play it. 
because the number of liberties that this has means he has to spend that at many extra moves to capture this because this doesn't have two eyes. So it's probably worth like one extra point here. <laughs> Still a point. And it, <laughs> okay. This is feeling kind of big, but so is, let's just take this. All right, I have no idea what the score is. What's the score? It's Kabsoff score. <laughs> mm. So I will do a Merlot night. And we are gonna talk about the difference between Kabsoff and Merlot. And uh, that's pretty exciting, actually. <laughs> this doesn't work, right? I gotta have too many liberties. Like, I have to have way too many liberties. This is six liberties on the inside, plus another three. Nine liberties. Does he have nine liberties? No way. <laughs> no way. But I guess that's the benefit of being able to give up, like, apparently a whole group and still be fine, or at least in the game. This is not one of my better games. I think, I think this, I blame the wine. Is that allowed? I don't think I have to respond to this. There's no way he has nine, well now eight liberties here. Okay, we take this one. Mm, it's reasonable. Oh, uh, I'm playing here? Doesn't do anything. I guess I'll play there. Where else should I play? Gang? Oh, I guess I sh I can't really do much over here, actually. I have to, I have to come back and take these. Um, maybe here. There. There. These are all... Nine. These are all fair ideas. Like, there's a sente point. That's pretty good. Let's take that one first. He should take this immediately. Okay, he's not going to. He's going to... Oh, maybe... Maybe that was a threat. <laughs> no, not a threat. That was dumb. Don't play that move, kids. Go back and play that one. <laughs> Much better move. Or even that one. Yeah, Seven. he figured out that my move was not forcing. Four, oh, this was a big glass of wine, by the way. Like, I poured myself a real generous helping. Oh, that's a good move. That's pretty good. Uh, let's take that one. Turn, turn, turn. I mean, what's best here? This move? Probably. Oh, he has... This is, uh... Kind of captured. I have to play here if I want him to take that off. Um... I don't... I have, like, no co-threats. Oh, that's your co... Wait, what? He didn't take the co. Eight, seven, I'm totally hallucinating. I thought he took this. Five, he just four, played this. Alright, whatever. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, he gets all the same game. Um, hmm. Yep. Okay. He gets that endgame. This might be probably worth connecting. This is just Sente. I guess that's that's actually a really good co-threat. Alright, let's connect this. That might be worth a point. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, he's just super paranoid about that, and that's fine. We will let him be super paranoid. There's a, yeah, these are good points now. Two point move up there. 
Yeah, playing this this move is actually really big at this point. Should have played that one. Okay. I think I can play this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, oh, poor wine. Hmm? I actually read this out. You can't play that if I actually read it out. Okay. I'm missing something. I can read when I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Glad that is settled. Actually, I don't have to add any more moves over here, right? This is just forever dead. That doesn't work. <laughs> um, like, do I, how do I even, do I even need to respond? I mean, I could just play here, and it'll be done. I could just play here. This is better. Nine, yeah, this is eight, better. Seven, six, five, All right. <laughs> Forever dead. Okay. That not that's not Sente. He thinks that's Sente. It's not Sente. He can't kill this. Indestructible. All right. Let's play the rest of the end game. We got a point there. Um, I mean, not like a real point, but we should take it anyway. That's actually a better co-threat than anything else I just wasted. Two-point move there, two-point move there. Mm. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yep. Probably should have played that one first and then traded the two-point moves. Oh, he's not playing this one. Curious. I got both two-point moves. Hooray. That generally doesn't feel like it's a thing. Any, was that even a point? All right, let's find a move that's worth a point. Who can help me? Who's on this? I don't think there's anything. I've yet to see an actual point. That's pretty crazy. Oh, we're playing Chinese rules, right? So I can take this whenever I want and not have a end game like lose a point scenario. Okay, okay, sharp that connection. So we'll play all the Dame first because we're going to, I think, I'm pretty sure we're doing Chinese rules. So this is actually a point. So to speak, where do you play? There. Okay, I took that point. Is that the last, like, real point? I think so. So let's take that. Okay. And there we go. Game. Uh, did I win? I don't know. Apparently I did. It actually, yeah, the sign just showed up. And uh, apparently I won. So, all right. Good wine. Good game. I mean, that's cool. This was not my best go playing. And I apologize for having that screen, like, just totally futzed at the beginning. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, let's throw this game into a robot and have a robot actually show us what I did wrong, because... Who knows if I know? Let's show off the wine a little bit. This is a precision Cabernet Sauvignon, 2019 vintage. It's kind of a, the, the weird thing about this label is how much space it takes up. It actually like wraps more than 
50% around the bottle, which is actually really annoying. <laughs> like, it looks beautiful, but... Um, like, to see this, like, in a store, like... I guess it's kind of... It's kind of, like, you have to twist the bottle to, to actually see the whole label. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so, yeah, super smooth wine. Very easy drinking. Definitely drank too much. Almost lost the game. <laughs> Definitely had a group killed. Like, eh, I don't know how we did here. All right, let's uh, let's let's go see the robot. She'll tell me what to do. All right, so that was a game. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna tell you this. I did. Uh, I, I also finished my wine, so I'm out of wine, and uh, I think I'm cut off. I forgot to also mention I had a cider before I opened this bottle of wine, so there was a little bit of a pre-gaming going on tonight. In case you didn't, you weren't aware. If it wasn't obvious. Um, but anyway, still was super happy with the wine. I did, I did seal the, seal the bottle. I did pump some air out of it to try to keep it around for another day. So I will enjoy that wine again tomorrow. Again, Cabernet Sauvignon, if you don't, if you never had it, you know, in your of legal drinking age and in your place of residence, definitely add, you know, add it to your must try list. It is the most popular wine in the world, uh, at least by production. And it's in so many other wines. Like when you talk about any almost, you know, like 90% of wine blends, uh, especially, you know, French style, Bordeaux style. Plus I guess it's probably not 90%. That's, that's the overestimate, but uh, it certainly feels that way. It is, it is, you can just find it anywhere. Um, so it's big, bold, tannic. Uh, it's got a little bit of everything, a little bit of something, something for everyone. Anyway, this game. So uh, the opening here is pretty good. Uh, at no point really did White ever lead, believe it or not. Um, this was a black scheme from beginning to end. However, there were a few miscues. This is definitely a mistake for White. Um, although here, it's this is the important period. I should, oh man, I should turn that off. Um, the important timing to play this move. I should ask this question here first and then extend. This is much, much, much better, because in the game, what should have happened and didn't is when I play here, white should compromise and go here. And this puts black in a bind, because now if I do this, right, white captures these two stones and just makes the exchange. And that's much, capturing two stones is great for white. So what black should do here is actually play here and basically play on both sides. But again, this is a fair result. Like, it's not dominating for black, it's just fair. So... This is this timing is actually really important, and White didn't call me on it, so I was kind of a bit lucky there. But that's okay. This is the correct way to fix, and this is a good game for Black. Already, like Black is Black is winning. Um, this move is a little bit dubious. Like, according to the robots, it kind of prefers to respond to the big areas, but it's fine. Um, very, very like slight hit. Um, all this is generally good. It doesn't, the robot does not like my pincer here. It would much prefer a, a slightly further pincer so it doesn't get counterattacked so easily. Counter attacked so easily. Did I even say that word? I don't even know. Um, that way I have a base, a little bit more of a base here. I'm not so divided and I don't get into this giant running fight. But uh, this fight has a couple interesting things. Number one, this shape move the robot really didn't like. And I, like, I understand. I felt bad playing it. Like I said, this, I, I sort of stopped. I said, this is like, you know, backseat car slap poke fight between, you know, two siblings. It's kind of just makes everyone feel ugly and guilty all at the same time. Uh, what the robot really wants to do... Um, actually, I don't remember what the robot wants to do. Huh. I should... I, should, I can't remember. Well, anyway, um, I'll, show you, I'll show you a couple moves later because I do know the next move after these exchanges get made, this is this is not the robot's preferred shape. It really wants to play there. Isn't that amazing? And just push from behind. And just assume that if this Hane happens, just just let yourself get pushed around. Isn't that isn't that just the most passively like kind of beautiful thing you've ever seen? Like like black gets literally nothing on the side. Still kinda has a little bit of a defect, but it doesn't matter. Because as long as black is just dividing and getting and maintaining some sort of strength or at least connections that are strong, then this white group, right, is in trouble. And that's all black really cares about. Black doesn't really care what happens to the left side, as exhibited by the game, right? Just give up a group of three stones because I just don't care. So just that move, isn't that amazing? Um, I was trying to be all fancy and make nice shape. <laughs> 
with a move like this, but no, just, just lean and encourage white to in fact take more points. Amazing. Totally amazing. Uh, so here, robot doesn't like any of this, definitely doesn't like that, it says leave that, you know, you have bigger, bigger things to do. This is, I know this is greedy, like I know, I know. <laughs> but it's so good, this makes so many points. This move, the attachment, is a big difference. Um, this connection, much more solid, would not have had that accident in the endgame had I just played this to begin with. But I didn't, and I played here. Ah, this peep, other other really good go moment. I just connected, that is wrong. There's a better move, because this move lets this Atari timing be really good. White connects, then I can connect. And this exchange, so good for black. Uh, like, like before, white as actually even has a potential eye here as a possibility. If I Atari, it's not even Sente, so it, it's, like a, it's like a legit 50% eye. Plus, black gets another stone on the outside for, for jumping, running, doing all those sorts of things. So really, really big timing. I missed two really big timing things now. One up here, one over here in this game. Uh, and then here, again, the robot really doesn't like that shoulder hit. The robot just wants to jump this way. And, you know, st keep a strong connection. Does In this case, this is one of those cases where the robot does not want a giant exchange. Uh, and so anyway... Robots, and again, it's kind of okay with that move. Really didn't like this move. It's like not the time to make shape. And this real, again, really did not like this move. Uh, in fact, the robot, I think, just wanted to connect this way. That's the, the better option. Instead of inducing white to disconnect. Of course, up to here, this is all like... So, like, we're giving up points, but again, we're actually getting what the robot wanted to do in the first place, which was split this group real in a strong manner, right? In a strong, connected manner. And so that's how we ended up there. Um, here, this is okay. At this point, though, robot liked Hane instead of jumping. And you can understand why. Oops, well, back up. Uh, jump in here. Um... That I, I need to use this Aji here of the three stones a little bit more directly, and the jump doesn't really do that quite strongly enough. Um, so after here, this move is real bad. It was too slow. White doesn't actually need it. Um, so this move is just sort of too big. But here, after this exchange, um, Black doesn't need this move. Black should should go back to actually all through this. Here I should I should <laughs> all through this whole sequence. There is this wedge here, and this wedge is huge. Um, like as as far as defects go, oh, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. No, this really does need to be all. This needs to be. This does need to be here for this wedge. After this here, after this exchange, this wedge starts to become a real nuisance, and neither of us recognize it. And so, uh, whoops, no, I didn't want to go. Oh, I clicked a button. I didn't want to click the button. Let's go back here. The AI is going nuts. Oops, too far. <laughs> Not far enough. The AI is going nuts here, just, just wanting everybody to wedge. And, um, or instead of Black's case, instead of connecting, play this, because this is basically Sente. Uh, and if White connects, boom, problem solved. I never would have died at the end of the game. Like, super game over. Like, game, like up to like 80 point kind of win. In the end, the actual win was only about 40 points. Uh, even though Black died here, I died in the middle of the two weak white groups, there's just still so many points here and here that it was still a 40-point game. I do this, it's an 80-point game. Um, so it's just one of those really stupid connections. And I haven't talked about during the game, like, how little reading I was doing. And, oh man, it was true. And I did not read this wedge nearly accurately enough. Uh, let's see, a couple of little things that are kind of neat. Um, maybe, eh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll call it there. Um, again, I think, I think the things that are the takeaways, uh, this shape, I think, I think this happens in Q games, like not that uncommon. And so the most common robot move is here and just let black get strong everywhere, basically. And now white can, white can technically Tanuki. Um, but there are some other options to either jump out or even 
lean on either of these groups or even pincer. Um, but white should definitely kick. When white doesn't kick and does this move, <laughs> there's just a little bit too much space to run down here. And so when white plays here, black needs to make this exchange. I think that's that's the the timing of these exchanges is is really hard. Like it's go. Like that's I know it's hard. <laughs> but it has to be done. Uh, and then here, this is a sort of a spacing concern. You know, I really don't think four space extensions are that much stronger than five space extensions, but apparently the robot thinks so. So that's a pretty significant dis difference. And uh, again, here, the shape move, is this, this is the one that's still confounding me the most. Like, oh man, isn't that baller? Just, just push from behind, from your weak group. Like, oh, what could go wrong? And there's really not that much that can go wrong other than just, you're, it feels like you're giving white so much. Like, this is all white now. White just gained another, you know, 10 points plus a lot more influence. You know, there's now actually a potential connection for these two stones. Huge difference in points. But again, none of those points matter because we're in the middle of a fight. It's all about these weak groups. Amazing. And so, yeah, I think the last best takeaway after I make all these exchanges and I sort of cover white here is uh, this wedge. Yeah, this wedge just stays on the board. And I think I think if you, like, like all these different other exchanges we play without it, this just stays on the board for so long, the AI goes up to like an 86-point win potential for black at one point and down to like a three-point win for black at some point just because... No one is playing this wedge, and so the the graph is just oscillating. The win percentage just black, white, black, white, black, white. It's not really ever going white because black is still too far ahead, basically on the the side and over here. Um, but still, you get the idea. It's just going like way black, eighty point win, black three point win, black eighty point win, black three point win. It's just crazy um, how big of a difference this makes because this solves all of all of white's problems or all of black's problems essentially. Like uh, you know, just whoever plays there first. Um, and, and, and especially so because it's sente for for black. Like it's not even really an exchange that black and black has to give up. It's just sente for black because I can threaten to disconnect. Uh yeah, that was a tiring game. I'm not sure if you're tired just watching me ramble and drink wine. Um, I definitely have to drink less wine. I think for these games, this was this was this was hard. <laughs> Um, I guess that's what happens when you start drinking nicer wine. You drink more of it. So anyway, I apologize to the beginning of the board being cut off. Again, that was me just not being smart again. Uh, if you want to contribute to my wine fund, I suppose the best way to do that is to join my Patreon. So please do that. And, uh, you know, I think maybe, maybe there'll even be a challenge that if I, if I get a whole new influx of, of patrons... Uh, also, I'll buy some really nice bottles of wine. Like maybe I'll, maybe I'll, you know, treat my treat treat this channel, treat your treat this viewership to watching me drink a fifty dollar bottle of wine or a hundred dollar bottle of wine. Who knows? The sky's the limit. Um, because uh, you know, increasing from fifteen dollars to like a in the twenty dollar range, twenty plus range, uh, that went pretty well for me. Like I enjoyed that quite a bit. So you know, I guess you get what you pay for. Anyway, I need to go to bed. Like this, this, this is. Like, I need to go to bed. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'm going to sit here with my eyes closed just for a second. Just imagine myself being in bed. Go play some Go. That's, that's, that's what this is all about. Just go play some Go. I think. Or it's about drinking wine. No, it's about Go. It's, it's, this is a Go channel. Yeah. <laughs>